Hey everyone! Today I will talk about basics in human design. More specifically, I will talk about three out of five types. If you are new to human design and don't have your chart ready, go and type human design chart in Google and pause this video until you do so. Okay, the chart that you got will look something like that. Then read what it says under the type and voila, I will serve you with some basic information in a moment. My name is Barchi. I'm General Guide, here to inspire, empower and support your most precious authentic self. So, we have five different types in human design, which are manifester, manifesting generator, generator, projector and reflector. Today I'm going to talk about the first three, which are the energy types. Let's take a look at them. Manifester. Strategy to inform. This is an example of a manifester's chart. The way you recognize their chart is they have an undefined sacral, a defined throat, with a direct or indirect connection between throat and one of the other motors, which are root, solar plexus, and heart center. There is roughly just 8% of manifestor population in the world. As just mentioned, they have an open sacral center, which means their life force energy is inconsistent and hence they need to be careful that they don't overwork themselves. Having enough alone time, going to bed before they're exhausted and having naps should be part of their self-care. A direct or indirect connection between motors and throat makes them the only type who can just do it. The role is to initiate action, be independent and impact others. They don't need anyone's permission. They, just, they can just go and do it. To do that without the resistance of others, it's so important that they follow their strategy, which is to inform. And what does that mean? It means that before they take an action, they let people who are involved or important to them know what they're about to perform. In this way, they will get all support from the right people because they won't feel left out or that they don't matter. I can't stress that enough. Because manifestors are so independent, they can make people feel not needed or important, which can be the furthest thing from the truth, but it's how people perceive them. I need to stress that informing isn't the same as asking for permission. Manifestors aren't here to ask for permission. When a manifestor is out of alignment, which can mean they aren't following their design, it will show up as anger, rebelliousness, or on the other side of the spectrum, passivity. As I already stated before, the biggest desire of a manifestor is to make an impact. They are here to impact others, to initiate a process so the other types can start bringing it to life. That's it for now. I've made a video on how to support a manifestor, which I'll link below. If you have any questions regarding manifestors, feel free to ask me and I'll do my best to answer, as this is just a tiny bit that I covered today. Thank you so much. Okay, let's cover generators next. Strategy is to respond. This is an example of generator's chart. Every generator will have a sacral center defined. This center is the one that provides consistent energy for them to work, build, create and procreate. There is approximately 35% of the population of generators. If we go back to their chart, the important thing about generators is that they don't have a direct connection between any of the motors, which are sacral, emotional, heart, 
and root centers to throat, which we have seen with manifestors. This is also what separates them from manifesting generators, which we'll discuss next. For generators, it's important that they love what they do and that they're active. They need to work, create and wear out their sacral center every day. They aren't supposed to initiate action the way manifestor does, but are here to respond to the opportunities that the environment provides. By that I mean, it is important that they have an intention first a clear vision of what they desire. Then, when the world responds and gives them options, they need to check in with their sacral center if they get internal yes or aha until they can commit to any further steps. So you can help generator by asking them questions which can be answered by yes or no. This process and following their authority, which I won't cover in this video, should be how they move forward from the moment they engage in an activity to every following step until they finalize it. When they aren't following their strategy to respond, they will get frustrated. This is a sign they are out of alignment in some way. When they do what they love, they're expanding their energy and are magnetic for the environment. Everyone enjoys witnessing generator doing what they love. What is important for them is that they aren't rushed as well as they don't get forced to multitask as this isn't their strength. When they engage in a process, they can fully master it. So there is no point for them to change courses. They are here to create, to generate life. They should be asked, not told what to do, so they can always check in with their sacral before they engage in something. That's all I have for generators today. Let me know if you have any questions and I will gladly answer what I can. I also made a video on how to support a generator, which I'll link below. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, let's now check manifesting generators. This is an example of the chart for a manifesting generator. The reason why I included manifesting generators after the generators is because they are a hybrid between manifestors and generators, but still fall into generator world because of their defined sacral center. The same as generators, they represent roughly around 35 of, of the population. They have a throat connection with one of the motors, which means they can initiate conversation, uh, multitask, have fingers in many pies, and they're super fast. Due to their speed, they find shortcuts, but also make mistakes and need to go back and retake the steps, which can be frustrating. However, that is completely normal for them. They, shouldn't em they should just embrace the process. Unlike generators who once they commit, stay on the same course, manifesting generators need to check in with a sacral central center all the time. That is when they come up with an idea and before they are physically committing to it and then for every significant turn. Despite wanting to initiate, they shouldn't really. And that can be the hardest part. They should always check in with their authority and their sacral before they take action. They will just get frustrated if they aren't waiting to respond. Do check the generator part of the video as a lot applies to you if you are a manifesting generator. Manifesting generators are really a powerhouse. They are such valuable creators. We should appreciate their speed, their contribution and everything they provide. Let us all encourage each other's strength rather than push each other down. Okay, let me know if this resonated in the comments below and if you have any questions. Thank you so much. To end this, the intention behind all my videos 
is to show you your strength, your uniqueness, and hopefully help you fall in love with yourself some more. So many times we admire what other people have and sometimes even yearn to be something we are not. However, the role we play our best in this life is our own. Let's commit to being 100% ourselves and see what happens. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Like and subscribe if you want to. Thank you. Bye.